Hey Canucks fans, welcome to Clay's Canucks Commentary for Monday, July the 1st. Happy Canada Day. I'm Clay Emo, I'm at Canuck Clay on Twitter. I'm at Clayton Emo on Instagram. I'm the founder of the GLCPC, the Good Looking Canucks Positivity Club, and this is my Canucks take, all in one take. It's only 9.30, half an hour of free agency officially. Free agency opened at nine o'clock Pacific time, 12 noon Eastern time. But already we've heard of three signings by the Vancouver Canucks, all defensemen. Remember last year, 2018, they signed the three bottom six forwards in Jay Beagle, Anton Roussel, and Tim Schaller. This year, the Canucks are focusing on the blue line. None of these made official by the league or by the club yet, but we're pretty certain that these are indeed finalized and confirmed. Tyler Myers, Jordy Ben, and Oscar Fantenberg. Let's talk about all three guys. Tyler Myers, rumored to be coming here for the past month, actually earlier than that, but definitely the past month, definitely the past couple weeks, and then certainly last night, multiple sources broke the news of a $30 million contract over five years. So $6 million a year for Tyler Myers, and that's the same amount that Alex Edler's gonna be making, $6 million a year. Edler's contract's for two years, Myers is for the next five. He's 29 years old, he's six foot eight, he's 230 pounds, drafted 12th overall in the first round by the Buffalo Sabres back in 2008. Did five seasons with Buffalo, five seasons in Winnipeg, and now coming to Vancouver. In Winnipeg, he was a bottom pairing guy, but then got moved up to uh, the second, or even sometimes even the first pair because of their injuries to their back end late in the season last year. Here, I see him as definitely a second pairing guy and maybe a second power play unit guy. Definitely can't pay $6 million a year for a guy sitting on your third pair. So look for him to play You know, his 18, 19, maybe upward of 20, 21 minutes actually a night. We'll, we'll see what happens. But look for Tyler Myers to be a solid contributor. Ray Farrell, um, to, uh, talked on TSN early this morning. He said he liked the term of five years. He wasn't sure about the money at $6 million a year, but he admitted it was way better than seven or $8 million a year that people were talking about earlier last week. And he thinks that he makes the Canucks obviously a much stronger team, especially when you pair him with someone like Quinn Hughes. And I'll talk about the potential pairings at the end of this video. So number one, Tyler Myers, the big fish. He was ranked number five on TSN's free agent board. Tyler Myers coming to Vancouver, five years, $6 million a year. $30 million total. Then we move on to Jordy Ben. He is a native of Victoria. He's actually a little older than Myers. He turns 32 later this month in July. And he has obviously, not obviously, he has spent his time between the Dallas Stars and most recently the Montreal Canadiens. Left shot D-man, but can play on both sides, so gives him versatility. He's six foot two, 200 pounds, so decent size, and very solid. You know, in the his past years, you look at his games played, 81 games played last year, 77 the year before that, 71 the year before that, 64, 73, 78. So in the past six seasons, he's played, you know, anywhere from 64 to 81 games, so a very solid contributor. I look for Jordy Bin to be, uh, you know, it sounds like from Ian McIntyre, it's a two-year deal at $2 million a year, so $4 million total. So that's basically half of what Ben Hutton was making, and it looks like to be a replacement for Ben Hutton. So look for Jordy Ben to be on our third pairing on our left side. And then we have um, Oscar Fantenberg. Not, don't know a lot about him. He played most recently with the Calgary Flames last season, and then the two, uh, two years, actually just one year before that uh, with the LA Kings. He was actually not drafted. He's 27 years old already. Uh, six, foot, six feet tall, 206 pounds, but he actually played uh, six years in Sweden, then a year in the KHL before coming over to the Kings for the 2017-2018 season. You know, nine points in 27 games, 2017-2018, then last year split between the Kings and the Flames, played 61 games and only four points. So this is a depth guy, obviously gonna, not gonna make our top six by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, you know, as a, as, as a depth guy, he'll be battling for that seventh spot. So that's, again, Swedish defenseman Oscar Fantenberg. So when you look at it, you look at the 2018 starting lineup, the 2018 D was this. It was Edler, Tanev, Stetcher, Goodbranson, Delzato, and Derek Pouliot with Ben Hutton as our seventh. Now this year, you look at it, it will likely be whatever order you want, Edler, Tanev, and Stetcher, the three holdovers. Now you have Quinn Hughes, you have Tyler Myers, you have Jordy Ben, and you have Fantenberg and maybe Ole Ulevi battling for that seventh spot. So in essence of the, the starting six, you take out Delzato, Goodbranson, and Pouliot, and you bring in Myers, Hughes, and Ben. I think we'd all agree, without a shadow of a doubt, that this year's starting lineup on D is a lot stronger. Now who plays with who? You know, you could go with the old faithful, of Tanev with Edler, and then you could go Myers and Hughes, and then you got Ben and Stetcher as your third pairing. 
Although I really like Stetcher's game. I think it's well suited to the NHL now. Got good experience at the World Championships. I would put Edler with Stetcher as technically your top pair. Then you still have Hughes and Myers. I'm fine with that pairing. And you have Ben and Tanev as your third pairing. And you, you know, all jokes aside about Tanev's injury status or his injury history, Tanev might not last the entire year. Heck, Edler might not last the entire year. I'm not trying to jinx anyone. We're just talking reality. So maybe that's the way you go. You go Edler with Stetcher, Hughes and Myers, and then Ben and Tanev as your third pairing. Then you can, uh, you know, Tanev doesn't have to play so many minutes. He can, and maybe he'll stay healthier. And then of course your power, first power play unit, love to see Quinn Hughes up there. Maybe it'll be Alex Edler then uh, moving to Quinn Hughes throughout the year. Maybe you give it to Hughes right away. And then on your second power play unit, you could actually go with two, you know, imagine Hughes on the first power play unit. You could put, you could put Edler and Myers together on the second power play unit or choose one of them, maybe Myers with a heavier shot and a more accurate shot than Edler. Whatever it be, at least we have a different look and we have Myers, Hughes, and Ben in with Pouliot, Gabranson, and Delzado all out. Really like the look of the Canucks blue line. You look at the you look up front, you have another year of Pedersen, Horvat, Besser, Pearson maybe, and JT Miller is gonna be a wonderful addition to the top six. So I like the way the Canucks are moving. Is it enough to move to playoff spot? We shall see. They still gotta sign Brock Besser, seven, seven and a half million dollars. They still got Godobin, Levo, and Mott to sign. The college defensemen, Rafferty and Tevis. So there's a lot to do with only a little bit of money. So we'll see what the Canucks do. Will they trade some guys out? Will they buy out more players? We have a lot of time to talk about that. But for today, for July 1st, for Canada Day, for free agency, for 45 minutes in now, we have three new defensemen. Tyler Myers, Jordy Ben, and Oscar Fantenberg. Canucks fans, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear what you think. You know, we've been talking about Myers for the past week or two. Jordy Ben kind of came on the radar just r relatively recently and Fantenberg was a surprise to everyone. But kudos to Rick Dollywell who last night tweeted out that the Canucks were going to sign three D-men. And he talked about uh, Myers, Ben, and then a depth D-man. And that depth D-man is obviously Oscar Fantenberg. Canucks fans, leave a comment below. Tell me what you think of th these three signings. Do you like $30 million for Myers over five years? Do you like $4 million for Ben over two years? Can't see why you wouldn't. And we don't know about Fantenberg's contract yet. We'll wait to hear uh, you know, confirmation from the team, from the NHL about these three signings and maybe more for the Vancouver Canucks. But it's been a great start to Canada. It's been a great start to free agent frenzy for the home team. Leave a comment below. I'd love to read, react, and reply. Subscribe if you like to, like this video if you'd like to. And check out Jillian Fisher, you know, the celebrity, the NHL celebrity, viral videos. Check out her new video from today. It talks about what every Canucks, what not every whatever Canucks, what every fan, what every team is thinking about during free agency, during the off season, and yours truly makes a special cameo appearance halfway through the video. And I talk about five things, I've tweeted about already, five things that the Canucks were already thinking about or accomplishing in this off season. So check that out, that video by Jillian Fisher. Wonderful, wonderful uh, woman, uh, very creative, very talented, and I was blessed to be in her video representing the Canucks and representing the GLCPC. Okay, Canucks fans, enjoy the rest of the day. Enjoy Canada Day. I'll pop in once more if there's any other big sightings. Otherwise, enjoy this one and go to town in the comments below. God bless and go Canucks go.